We know you're concerned about the planet and its inhabitants. You want to help stop global warming. But what can you do to make a difference besides change some light bulbs? What really is the number one cause of global warming? People who don't recycle? Nope. Too many cars? Nope. Planes? Nope. How about that steak on your plate? The United Nations has concluded that factory farming is one of the biggest contributors to the most serious environmental problems at every level, from local to global. Land degradation, climate change, pollution, water shortages, habitat destruction, these are not inevitable forces. The change is easy. All we have to do is tell everyone we know that meat's not green. Animals raised for meat, eggs, and milk create enormous amounts of greenhouse gas emissions that cause global warming. Chickens, turkeys, pigs, and cows on factory farms generate billions of pounds of drug-laced feces every year. This waste frequently spills over into nearby waterways, killing millions of fish and causing dangerous effects. Eating meat is far less efficient than eating plants. It can take up to 16 pounds of grain to produce just one pound of meat. And because of the need to grow so much grain to feed farmed animals, millions of acres of native habitat are destroyed and replaced with a single crop. We're going to look at an earth clock that will affect future generations for humans and all animal species. We should be more concerned about this as it pertains to human and animal rights that will affect all future generations. This is an earth clock, podwaddle.com, P-O-O-D-W-A-D-D-L-E. Com. Please share this information as it should concern everyone. Here's some human overpopulation statistics. Again, we cannot endlessly grow and have limited resources that are scarce. way more births than deaths especially in poor countries that lack resources again a vegetarian diet reduces world hunger every 10 to 12 pounds of corn or grains we feed to birds and pigs you only get about one pound of meat in return for every 12 pounds of feed to the birds and pigs. So meat equals world hunger. Here's some environmental statistics. Vegan diet also does uh, help the environment drastically. One of the leading causes of greenhouse gases, more than cars, trains, and airplanes combined, leads to a lot of deforestation for all the resources and much more. The reason I'm focusing on that is because it's one of the most empowering things you can do and you have control over by what you consume and by not reproducing, maybe adopting a child instead of having 
on natural IVF. Tons of kids and teenagers in foster care, but everyone wants a baby. I mean, the pro-lifers don't adopt. They'd be like a vegan not adopting their pet. Now here's what we've done, massive factory farms and fish farms to keep up with this rate. Since we eat more animals than ever on average per person, most people eat over 50 to 75 animals a year, mainly smaller chickens and pigs and fish. That's not even included. So we went to massive industrialized unnatural factory farms. Check out meatvideo.com. Please share that. It's horrific how they are treated. The death is far from the worst part. See, chickens outnumber them all by a large margin. There's some crops. Again, feeding them to animals is inefficient versus eating them directly. We have enough food to feed the world, not all the world and all the species. Of course, distribution is another issue with that. There's some economy issues. We're going to go through some fun stuff later. It's also strange that a salad or a bowl of spinach for five ounces is a few dollars, whereas a pound of meat is cheaper on average pound of chicken. That's why our healthcare system is a mess. People buy what's affordable too. And right in front of them inconvenient. Some crime and we'll have some nicer stats at the end. Again our population is growing faster than the death rates though at a large rate Cancerproject.org is a good website by leading doctors about the carcinogens in our cooked flesh. So you've seen most of the statistics on here. You can go to the page and scroll through more yourself. Again, we cannot endlessly grow our populations. We are not the only species. We are overfishing with huge commercial fishing nets the size of a football field or larger that are raping the oceans or destroying the lands and much more. Check out meatvideo.com on factory farms. And please share this information before it's too late for future generations.